alone in the wilderness, I sought solace in the embrace of nature. The remote forest cabin seemed like the perfect refuge, a haven from the chaos of the world. But as the sun dipped below the horizon and darkness settled over the land, a sense of unease crept over me. On the first night, as the clock struck midnight three sharp knocks echoed through the cabin. Startled, I rushed to the door, expecting to find a fellow traveler seeking shelter from the night. But when I flung the door open, there was no one there. Confusion clouded my mind, but I shrugged it off as the product of an overactive imagination. The following nights brought more of the same. Three knocks, always at midnight, always followed by an empty doorstep. I tried to convince myself that it was just the wind or some nocturnal creature wandering through the woods. But deep down, a nagging sense of dread gnawed at my sanity. Then came the final night, the night that shattered my illusions of safety. As the clock struck twelve, the familiar knocks reverberated through the cabin. But this time, they were accompanied by a haunting scratching sound, like claws scraping against wood. Fear gripped me like a vice paralyzing me with terror. I cowered under my bed, heart pounding in my chest, as the scratching and knocking continued in a macabre symphony of dread. Hours passed like eternity, each minute stretching into infinity as I lay frozen in fear. When morning finally broke, I emerged from my hiding place, trembling and exhausted. My eyes fell upon the cabin door, and my blood ran cold. Strange symbols were etched into the wood, twisted and malevolent in their design. They seemed to pulse with dark energy, a silent warning of the horrors that lurked in the depths of the forest. With trembling hands, I gathered my belongings and fled from the cabin, desperate to escape the nightmare that had consumed me. As I stumbled through the dense undergrowth, I vowed never to return to that accursed place, haunted by the memory of those three ominous knocks in the dead of night. It was supposed to be a peaceful retreat, a break from the relentless grind of city life. I had rented a remote cabin in the woods, far from any signs of civilization. The first few days were serene. I spent my time hiking, reading, and enjoying the silence that the dense forest provided. But on the fourth night, something changed. As I sat by the fireplace, a loud bang echoed through the cabin. It startled me making me drop the book I was reading. I paused, listening carefully. Another bang followed, this time louder and more insistent. My first thought was that it was a bear. I had been warned about wildlife in the area, so I decided it was best to stay inside and wait for it to pass. The banging continued, rhythmic and deliberate. It moved around the cabin, hitting the walls in different spots. My heart raced as I tried to convince myself it was just an animal. After all, I was deep in the woods. I grabbed a flashlight and slowly approached the window, trying to get a look at whatever was causing the noise. Peering through the window, I froze. Standing just outside, illuminated by the pale moonlight, was a man. He wore a hooded jacket and had a strange, unsettling smile on his face. In his hand he held a stick, which he was using to hit the cabin walls. Each thud reverberated through the wooden structure, amplifying my fear. I backed away from the window, my mind racing. This was no bear. I quickly grabbed my phone and dialed 911, trying to keep my voice steady as I explained the situation. The operator assured me that help was on the way, but the cabin was so remote that it would take some time for the police to arrive. The minutes stretched into an eternity. The man continued to circle the cabin, hitting the walls and occasionally stopping to peer into the windows. I hid in the darkest corner of the living room, flashlight off, trying to remain unseen. My eyes never left the windows, watching for any sign that he might try to break in. Eventually, I heard the distant sound of sirens. The banging stopped, and the man disappeared into the woods. When the police finally arrived, they searched the area thoroughly but found no sign of him. What they did find were fresh footprints all around the cabin, confirming that I hadn't imagined the whole ordeal. The officers stayed with me until dawn, ensuring my safety before they left. 
They advised me to leave the cabin and return to town, which I did without hesitation. As I drove away, I couldn't shake the image of that man's eerie smile and the sound of the stick hitting the walls. Back in town, I reported the incident to the cabin rental company and the local authorities. They assured me that they would investigate further, but I knew I wouldn't be returning to that cabin, or any remote cabin, again any time soon. I returned to the city, grateful for the safety and the comforting noise of daily life. The experience left a lasting impression, a stark reminder that sometimes, the most terrifying encounters are not with the wild animals we fear, but with other people. The cabin, once a place of solace, had become a memory of a nightmarish encounter, and I was thankful to have made it through the night unscathed. Nestled snugly in the heart of the mountainous terrain, our cabin stood as a beacon of serenity amidst the rugged landscape. My friend and I had eagerly anticipated our weekend retreat, craving the tranquility and adventure that awaited us in the remote wilderness. As the sun dipped below the horizon and the stars began to twinkle overhead, we settled into our cozy sanctuary, relishing the peace and quiet that enveloped us like a warm blanket. The crackling fire cast dancing shadows on the walls, and the soothing sounds of nature lulled us into a state of contentment. But as the night wore on, a sense of unease crept over us, subtle at first, but growing steadily with each passing hour. The wind whispered through the trees, carrying with it a sense of foreboding that sent shivers down our spines. I awoke suddenly, my heart pounding in my chest, to the faint glow of moonlight streaming through the window. A chill ran down my spine as I turned to glance at my friend, only to find him still and silent, lost in the depths of sleep. And then I saw it. A shadowy figure loomed outside the window, its form barely discernible in the darkness. Panic surged through me like a tidal wave as I nudged my friend awake, whispering urgently of the intruder outside. Together, we strained to listen, our ears attuned to the slightest sound that might betray the presence of the unknown entity lurking just beyond the walls of our sanctuary. Heavy breathing echoed through the night, mingling with the rustling of leaves and the distant howl of a lone wolf. Movement, faint but unmistakable, danced on the edge of our senses taunting us with its elusive presence. Too terrified to move, we huddled together in the dim light, our hearts pounding in unison as we waited for dawn to break and dispel the darkness that threatened to consume us. Hours passed like agonizing eternity, each minute stretching into an endless abyss of fear and uncertainty. The cabin seemed to creak and groan with a life of its own, its walls closing in around us like the jaws of some ancient beast. At last, the first light of dawn crept over the horizon, bathing the cabin in a soft, golden glow. With trembling hands and pounding hearts, we mustered the courage to venture outside, bracing ourselves for whatever horrors awaited us in the light of day. As we stepped onto the dukist earth, our worst fears were realized. Large footprints marred the ground around the cabin, their size and depth betraying the weight of whatever had stalked us through the night and on the windowpane, deep gouges and scratches bore witness to the desperate struggle that had unfolded just inches from where we slept, a chilling reminder of the dangers that lurked in the shadows of the wilderness. With a sense of unease gnawing at our souls, we packed our belongings and fled from the mountain cabin, vowing never to return to that cursed place. The memory of that night would haunt us forever, a dark stain on the fabric of our memories that refused to fade with the passage of time. We thought it would be an adventure, a break from our usual routines. A group of us set out for a weekend camping trip in a remote area, eager to explore the wilderness. As dusk fell, we stumbled upon an old, abandoned cabin hidden among the trees. It seemed like the perfect place to spend the night, sheltered from the elements. Inside, the air was stale, and the floor creaked beneath our feet. We joked about ghosts and spooky stories as we settled in, eager for a night of camaraderie and laughter. But as the hours passed and darkness enveloped the cabin, our laughter turned to whispers of unease. Footsteps echoed outside, soft and stealthy. 
At first, we dismissed them as the wind rustling through the trees or the playful antics of one of our friends. But when we did a head count, we realized that everyone was inside the cabin, accounted for. Tension hung heavy in the air as we huddled together, listening intently to the sounds outside. Whispers drifted through the night, faint but unmistakable. One of us, braver than the rest, peeked through the dusty window and recoiled in horror. In the shadows, illuminated by the faint moonlight, stood a man. His presence sent shivers down our spines, and we scrambled to lock the doors and windows, praying for dawn to break and chase away the darkness. The night dragged on, each moment stretching into eternity as we waited in terror, fearing what lurked outside. When the first light of dawn pierced the sky, we cautiously ventured outside, expecting to find traces of the mysterious figure. But there was nothing. No footprints in the soft earth, no signs of anyone or anything that had been there during the night. We packed up our belongings in silence, the sense of unease still lingering in the air. As we left the abandoned cabin behind, we vowed never to return to that spot again. The memory of that night would haunt us forever, a chilling reminder of the unknown dangers that lurked in the wilderness.